Hey guys, it's Sean. And uh, it's time to change the back bushing in the lathe. Uh, it's getting a little war. I can tell uh, my headstock is getting a little, little movement. Okay. Now, previously I've put a bearing in the front, so the front is golden. However, the back one is looking a little moldy. It's not bad bad, but I, I don't want to get it that bad. So, I got some new ones. And I can get these at the hardware store. They're a common item. And they just go in the back here. Alright, so let's put a new one in there. Let's put our shaft back in there. Let's see what we got. We'll be right back. Alright guys, we've got our uh, new bearing in there, or excuse me, new bushing in there. There it is. Now what I like to do with these 109s, okay? They give you, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm trying to get in here where you can see it, I don't know. Hmm. They give you this little foil cap, right? However, with a full bearing or a full bushing in there, that oil never hits the actual shaft. So what I like to do is pull this cap open, and I like to put a drill bit through it, so that the oil you put in there will actually hit the shaft. All right, so let's do that next. And I got two extras for next time and next time. But uh, there you go. Yeah, the, uh, the bushing was just totally shot. And that's, that's a new one and it works perfect. The, the uh, used one, it's just floppy. Alright, so, tailstock bushing is half replaced. This lathe is really easy to take apart. I, I, I simplified it quite a bit. And it does have a front bearing now right here yeah, if you can see it probably not but yeah it has a front bearing right here so maybe eventually I'll put a rear bearing in it I don't know these bushings are cheap and it only takes a couple minutes to replace them so, anywho, let's go ahead and pop a hole through that and clean it all up. Be right back. Alright, folks. I don't know if you can see anything here. Probably not. But, um, all I gotta do is tighten down my pulley and, um, my two Allens on the, on the shaft on the other side. And then... We just put this bronze bushing here. Right there. And put this bushing on the shaft. Okay. Get a little more light here, hopefully. And then we can put our gear back on. there and then we tighten that allen screw right there and that's all there is to taking the whole head the whole thing apart it's pretty simple i've simplified it because the old style the way it was had this uh, bushing in the front you know it had this little stupid split bushing it's more of a collet than it is a bushing okay it's got uh four slices in it and it's more of a collet it just squeezes around the shaft well these wear out pretty fast and then you got headstock movement well I got rid of this and I just put a bearing in the front I'm probably gonna eventually do it in the back 
Now, yeah, I, I uh, munched a uh, headstock for my purposes, but these headstock ca castings are very, very available, and I got three of them. I got two other lathes that I can use. You know, the headstock is not a big deal. As far as using the lathe, I want it to be usable. I don't, you know, what good is it if it's, you know, rocking and rolling, okay? So, that's what I did with that. And, that's all in there. Now we got to tighten some set screws and we're back in business. It's that easy, guys. We take this thing apart and put it, a new bushing in it and, yeah, 10, 15 minutes. And eventually, I might end up getting rid of the bushing and put a bearing back there, just like I have up here. Okay. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. There's the old one. There's the new ones. Alright. Here we go. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.